My boyfriend's family is homeless and wants me to put my name down on a mortgage loan so they can buy a new house, should I respectfully keep them on the streets instead? I, 25F, had been dating my boyfriend, 26M, for almost four years, living together for about two. I'll cut to the chase, his family, which consists of his mom, dad, and sister, suffered a house fire in January, and they stayed with us in our one-bedroom apartment for a couple of weeks until their insurance got them a hotel. His family also has 10 cats, and 9 of those cats are in the apartment with us currently, so it's me, him, and 9 cats right now. They pay for the food and litter, but I bought them a cat tower and some toys. They basically destroyed my couch, but I figured they would, and it was a cheap couch anyway. This past Sunday, they went to see a realtor to talk about buying a house. Where they lived was a place they rented for a decade, and the landlord was pissed about the fire, so they don't want to go back there even when the house is fixed. My boyfriend was supposed to be the one on the loan because his parents aren't citizens and would have to pay an arm and a leg for a down payment. But since he has a social security number, he can get a regular rate. The problem is, he doesn't make enough on his own. If I went in on the loan with him, our combined income would be enough to qualify. If I go in on the loan, we could stay with his family in the house and save for our own home later. We'd have more space, which would be great because I'm trying to start a business, and I wouldn't be living in a one-bedroom apartment with nine cats. But it's also a 30-year mortgage loan. He has told me that whatever I decide to do won't affect our relationship, but I'm afraid this will for me. If I decide to not go on the loan, his parents said they'll get a trailer and take the cats, but his sister, 19F, would still probably end up living with us because her job is close to us, and she doesn't drive. I feel like I'm losing it. I feel like no matter what I do, I'm losing something, and I'm so conflicted. I've asked for advice from my mom and some friends, and they think they're asking too much. But if I don't go in on the house, I'm still in this apartment that costs too much and adding an extra person to our space. So I'm asking, should I just let them put my name on the mortgage loan? Or should I accept that his sister will be living with us? I hate to add any more elements of stress to their lives because they've already been through so much, but now it's leaking into my life a lot. Edit. This house would be in my name, on the deed. The cats are not destroying my apartment as so many people are assuming, just the couch. I obviously care about these people, which is why I would even consider it, so please stop creating a story in your head where I'm some sucker wanting to be robbed. I'll suggest that his sister stay with us as long as she is looking for another place of her own and encourage her to maybe consider rooming with a good friend of hers. Update 1. So, I was not expecting 1300 people to find so many different ways to say no, Lamau. I'll be honest, I was not inclined to sign anything, not because I didn't think his family would follow through or anything, I just knew I didn't know enough to make this decision. Homeownership is a distant thought right now at the wee age of 25. I came here hoping to see if this is something people actually do, and what it would mean for me and my boyfriend if we did. The obvious risk was what if we break up, but I knew there was more than that, and you all made that clear. Someone mentioned that you can learn a lot about someone by how they handle the word no, and I can say that I didn't really learn anything, but just confirmed suspicions I already had. My boyfriend already realized that it wasn't a good idea and was completely on my side when he came home. It just stunted too much of our own opportunities for the future, so we were both on the same page about it, thank God. His mom was also very understanding, and I don't think she even understood what she was asking when it came up. After my boyfriend explained it to her, she told his dad, who is not his bio dad or even his stepdad, just his mom's longtime boyfriend. This matters for the next part, because his dad did not take it very well. Before any of this, my boyfriend's parents told him they would help him improve his credit so he could take out the loan for the house. They'd help pay off his credit card and obviously front the money for the down payment. And they said even if we didn't help with the house, they'd still do that since he's helped so much already. Here are just some of the things he did for them, he coordinated with the Red Cross to get them assistance after the fire, helped wrangle the cats, housed the cats and his family, and went with them to the realtor. As I suspected, though, once we made it clear that it was not happening with the mortgage and how it would damage our future chances at a home for ourselves, his dad wasn't happy. When his mom asked if they would still pay my boyfriend's credit card, his dad said no. He didn't help us, so we won't help him, is how he put it, apparently. Yeah, like I said, my boyfriend's family is pretty dysfunctional. I can't say I've ever had the most respect for his dad, but he's been there for most of my boyfriend's life. I have lots of thoughts on how this should go, but ultimately we are just going to try problem solving in different ways. Maybe be less ready to help so his dad can see what that's actually like. Also, a note to all of you as a collective, I understand that the world is full of cruel people, but I think a lot of you miss the context of this situation when you cast judgment on his family's intentions. This is a family who has been displaced in a house fire. They are immigrants who aren't completely and perfectly savvy with all of the logistics of buying a home. The reality for a lot of immigrants is that they do rush into terrible solutions because they don't always think they have another option. They know they have fewer resources because they lack citizen status, and it's not uncommon for children to help their parents in extreme ways. And that doesn't just apply to immigrants, there are people all over the world taking extreme risks to try to better their situation, but since they have lived so long needing to think on their feet, they don't always feel like they can afford to look for other options. All that to say, practice a bit more compassion. 
I understand that this was too much of a risk for myself, but that's not going to stop me from helping them where I can.